In this video, we're looking at question 18 of the 2022 paper one for the further maths GCSE. So we've been given a triangle RTS. We've got one angle theta and one angle of 135. We're also told that the triangle's sides RS to R, uh, ST are in the ratio of one to four. So if we say that RS is X, ST will be 4X. So I'm going to put those on my diagram. Now, if you notice, we've got two sides and two angles, with the sides and the angles being opposite each other. So we know, therefore, we're going to have, uh, we're going to be looking at the sine rule. So we're going to have sine of theta over x is sine of 135 over 4x. Now the aim of this question is to work out an exact value of sine theta. So we're going to rearrange this, multiply both sides by x, they're going to cancel on both the right hand side and the left hand side. So we're going to end up with sine theta is 100, sine 135 over 4. So this is where we're going to have to work out our exact value of sine 135. Now this isn't one that we normally work out, but what we can do is if we give ourselves a quick plot or a quick sketch of the sine function. So we're going up down and back up again. So crossing here is 360, 270, 180, and 90. Now, if you look, there's a bit of repetition here. So if I do sine 135 here, this height here, which is our exact value as we go across, actually touches twice. So what we could do is work out what this point here is. Now we can do that with symmetry. The distance from 90 to 135, well that's 135 take away 90 which is 45. So if we take it away there, that tells us that point there is 45. So if we know the exact value of sine 145, sorry, sine 45, we can work out what sine 45 is. That'll tell us what sine 135 is. So we are going to do our triangle. So this one, to work it out, we're going to draw a triangle with two angles of 45 and a right angle there. And we're going to have side lengths one and one. So this time we're going to do Pythagoras' theorem to work out this length here. So we're going to do 1 squared plus 1 squared equals this side here. Let's call that uh, the hypotenuse squared. So 2 equals the hypotenuse squared. So the hypotenuse equals root 2. So this side here is root 2. So we want sine 100, sorry, sine 45. So we are going to be looking at the opposite over the hypotenuse. So this is the adjacent, this is the hypotenuse, sorry, opposite. So we've got 1 over root 2. And if we rationalize times both top and bottom by root 2, we're going to have root 2 over 2. So if we go back to our question here, we've got sine of theta. The sine 135, well, that is root 2 over 2. But then we've got this 4 on the bottom as well. So we're going to have root 2 over 8. 